forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes. I am Daniel. Where am I? M my name. Uh, my name. My name is Daniel. I live at Mayfair. I am. I. I am the, the Prince of All Saints. No. My name is Daniel. I am the one and only. Uh, my name is Daniel. There's nobody I'd rather be. I will take this plant with me for protection. No, a plant is not a good friend for a man whose name is... I am... I am Daniel. I have opened this door. I found a tinderbox. I can light source in the environment. I must escape the shadow hunting me. It's... It's a hunter. It does hunting things. Hmm. Oh. oh, I had a few too many. I'm awfully balanced. Oh, okay, I'm good. I am Daniel. I... I like saying the, the word Daniel. Why are you so tall? Or... Is it... I am Daniel. I am incredibly short. I will, I will take this. Excuse me. Sir Knight Armor, please. Please catch this. Nailed it. I'm going to take this with me. I hope you don't mind. I am Daniel, Stealer of Heads. Oh. I am Daniel, easily frightened by doors. Suck it, door. What could possibly reside in here? Oh, I've opened the door. I am making great progress. I'm not quite sure where I am. I found myself in a strange abandoned castle of sorts. I found another tinderbox. I am Daniel. Sweeper of floors. I need to work on my technique somewhat. Very well. I will leave you there. I... okay. I should be thorough in my checking of all these rooms. I am Daniel. Checker of rooms. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything of importance in here. Except... A tinderbox. And a bottle. Much needed. I always hated bottles. I suppose there's nothing else to do but continue with my tinderboxes. I check my heart rate. All is good. My sanity. Crystal clear. Like the sparkling water of an ocean stream. I do have a journal. I must follow this liquid trail and find its source. That must only lead me to green pastures and good things. There could not possibly be any danger awaiting me. Oh, I am Daniel, standing ever so slightly wonky. I can't quite seem to get my balance. I'll just be taking that. I can hug it close to me when I feel frightened. This liquid is... 
rather luminous. Very well. It doesn't matter. Oh. Mr. Helmet, why are you moving away from me? Does my odor offend you? Oh, Mr. Helmet, why are you on the floor? Mr. Helmet, why have you had so much to drink? You seem to be losing your balance. I don't think I should be hanging around with your type. I'm sorry. I'm, I trust you can find your own way home. Very well. Daniel, will you continue onwards? What? What's going on in here? Hmm. Chairs. I should take this with me. Uh, if I find myself in need of comfort, I can sit down and gently place my butt cheeks upon its surface. Like so. What? Who are you? For what have you come to this place? You have no business here, squire. Ah, tinderbox. Perfect. Oh, my vision is rather blurry. Let's quickly check my sanity. Ah, good. Crystal clear. Of course, I will check every cupboard and bookcase I find. It is only my way, for I am Daniel, checker of cupboards. What? What happened? What happens here? What room have I happened upon? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my God. I am Daniel. Easily frightened by dark rooms. Oh, my sanity, I feel it. Ah, this room is very dark. It gave me a headache. Oof. I am Daniel. I have photosensitive, photosensitive headache inducement. I am Daniel. I just completely made that up. Ah, the old archives. Just where I want it to be. But the door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London. Seemed appropriate, somehow. Ah. This is exactly where I wanted to be. Good, the flag of horseshoe. Perfect. I know I'm in the right place. What is this I stumble upon? A book. Hmm. Let's just flip this over so I can... Read the writing properly. Oh, yes. That says... <laughs> just as I thought it would. Very good. I'm clearly in familiar territory. Oh, that was an awfully strong breeze. That, that event was rather unsettling. My sanity, I can feel it. My headache is getting worse. I'm not sure I can stand for this much longer. But one thing that always does calm my nerves solving a good puzzle. Dr. Kawashima, you have saved me once more. Oh, this water is unsettling. Yeah, such creatures are not commonplace in this land, I should hope. I feel... I feel unsettled. My sanity is drifting away. I am Daniel, and I am very scared of the dark. Mummy, Mummy, why won't you help me? Is that my heartbeat I hear? My headache is still slight. But I fear much more pressure could make me crack. Oh, the wind. The most unnatural of phenomena. Oh my godness. Oh, this hurricane in this room is intense. But what is this? It lets off a slight glow. This lantern's rather comforting. And another book. Well... I will not toss you across the room. I will place you back in your proper place on the bookshelf. That is where you belong, but screw this book. That one did not deserve its place on the bookshelf. If you think otherwise, you are wrong. What are these sounds I hear? Is this... Is this door locked? I have no key. For what am I... What am I placed here? Can I activate my lantern? Ah, perfect. Light. It soothes my nerves as I am terribly frightened of the dark. What's going on in here? Where do I go? Can I... Oh, this is a pull door, not a push one. It seems my 
previous efforts were in vain. Hmm. I'm just going to take this box in case I must defend against any creepy creatures of the night. Ah. Yes, I have opened this this thing. My lantern has run out of oil. Ah. The door it yields for me. What? I find my vision oddly pulled towards this thing. Ah, it's oil. Good. How do I use? Ah, I filled my lantern with oil. 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He'll, He'll be, be no match for you. you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Daniel. Your former self, Daniel. I don't know why he went slightly Australian. Daniel is a strange man. Hmm. Alchemy. Daniel was quite the alchemer. I... I... Uh, I suppose I... I can't... I can't push this lever. Get down, Lee. I goddamn pulled this lever. Oh! A hidden door. Your former self, Daniel, had strong feelings for hidden doors. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. The rock, to be specific. Dwayne Johnson was not okay with it, but he had little choice. The child overpowered him, and what could you do against that? How does one fight a child? You can't, they're too powerful. Ah, perfectly, oh no. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. No. That's impossible. What is this goop? It's tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hands or tools. And so Daniel, the not so tough and pliant, will find his way elsewhere. Daniel is not sure what to expect. Daniel also refers to himself in the third person. Daniel has picked up a tinderbox and oil. He finds more gross creatures on the ground and is like, ew, OMG, those are so gross. Stomp them out of existence. But he cannot. I will use this box. I believe it has fulfilled its purpose. Ah, what? This goop. It is reformed again. Daniel is frightened. My vision, once again, blurry. I cannot seem to... Ew, spider webs, break it. 
the invincible spiderweb stood strong. It was not affected by Daniel's kick. I'm not sure where to go. I must... Ah, the wine cellar. Perfect. Ah, it's locked. Ah. Foiled again. This must be the nightmare he was speaking of. Removed from my wine. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at this consulate in Constantinople. What is happening? I don't see a need to use a tinderbox, but YOLO, as the kids say. That was such a good use of my tinderbox. My head once again whipped round on my shoulders as I was forced to look at another thing that I wasn't really sure what was going on. Oh no, spooky scary rocks. The worst kind. Please, rocks. Give me your wisdom and allow me to pass forth. What is this? It's a thing. And yet at the same time, it is not. Daniel, look and run. Someone's coming. What? No. It can't be. That's impossible. I have a box. They cannot wish to contend with that. They know it is suicide and yet they... They still chase me anyway. The lack of a chimney to properly prevent the fumes from most my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Very well. It is not wine we seek. It is ingredients. Sploosh. He says, as the water splooshed creepily. Okay, very well. I'll be taking this bottle. I will handle it with the utmost care and precaution. Very good. Very good. I hear footsteps. Daniel does not know what's going on. Travelling to Dover, then going through the Canterbury, he made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. What's going on? Ah, whirlwinds everywhere. They're my worst nightmare. They insist on mocking me, but I will not stand for it any longer. I will pry these bars off with my bare hands and open the door. I demand it. I give up. You are too strong for me. Daniel heard the sounds of a distressed moose to his left. The Tabularium Archives. Brilliant. He fell to the kitchen floor Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden, in fear she too would be punished. Hmm. Which way should I go? The way that has had the door forcefully ripped off of its hinges? Or the good way? With a non-ripped off door? I sense this is my way. 16th of May. I don't care, Daniel. I could not care less, past Daniel. Future Daniel is now. I called myself Daniel, and you will refer to me as such. Googly monster, you will get out of my sight right this instant. Go to your room. Good. This is precisely what I wanted to find. Good. Empty jaws all the way through. This is exactly what past Daniel wanted. He wanted this for his son and future self. Hello. I am Daniel. 
I have come to investigate the moose in peril. I am a moose whisperer. I have recently acquired this skill. Do not speak over me, Daniel. I am not in the mood for your shenanigans. I did not mean to do that. Get out of my way. You are an insolent pest in my way of Daniel. Get out of here. Daniel is frightened. This ink pot will serve him well. Perfect. Daniel hears the sounds of moose. And another, don't speak over me, Daniel. I am not in the mood for your shenanigans. And so, I am Daniel. With an ever deeper growing voice. I am Daniel. Also, Batman. Daniel. I, Daniel does not appreciate the fact that the urn broke in his hands. Daniel is not impressed with whatever shenanigans you have come up with to amuse yourself. And so Daniel will continue onwards past the locked door, uncaring for his surroundings with his wibbly wobbly eyes. The painting is on its side, he does not care. Ah, what a beautiful set of four trees. The absolute marvel of British learned escaping. I will simply break out of here, leap to the nearest tree, and Daniel will be free. Daniel is defeated. Hmm? I hear sounds. Have I simply returned to the place I arrived? What is going on with my sanity? Head is pounding, hands are shaking. All is good in health. So, take the good with the bad, fill up the oil, even though I'm not using it, although now I am. Daniel lays noises. Daniel is not amused. Daniel seeks the source of the noises, but finds nothing. Daniel is confused about where these footsteps are coming from. Daniel opens the chest. Nya 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 nya. His Zelda instinct is tingling. He takes the tinderbox and the oil, intending to use them to acquire the Master Sword and slay Ganondorf. I'll be taking this box with me. I lied. Daniel is quite the trickster. Daniel heard the cry of the pained moose once more. He felt its suffering, as many might not realize. Daniel himself was part moose. He, along with being a moose whisperer, his great-great-grandfather was a moose. He had a slight itch on his left forearm, and so he scratched it against his torso. He entered a room he had not yet seen. There was a flash of light. The castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There is much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here. And there. Let's get the servants working on it. Tabulae. Maps. Ah. Daniel knew it was just getting good. And he was like, finally, bro. Ah. He 
lost his balance for a moment and fell on the floor. Daniel was quite a fool. Pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. Daniel was trapped. was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. Shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Daniel disobeyed his own inner thoughts and away from the light. He realized his neck was being forced round, and thus he must continue. It was waiting for he him. grasped the dry force I felt and gained its power to, the to rule high rule. He reached out, burned his eyes out, and died. A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away unlocking alien memories of Daniel woke up after doing many and many drugs geometry. the next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic Daniel was Quite delusional. He did take the tinderbox, however. Yet he had zero use for it. Ah, a map. I can find my way to a scarier game. This paper is defective, it will not open, and thus it will be discarded immediately. Kingdom of Pressure. Central Pressure. Perfect. Daniel realized the only realistic path of action would be to throw himself out of the window. Fragile. Not breakable by hand. Well, that's quite perfect since I have this, this decapitated head here. Go, Daniel. Daniel was legitimately surprised that that actually worked. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. God damn it, Daniel. Get your priorities straight. Daniel's sanity had increased. He had only a slight headache once more. He filled his lantern. And he took the book and was like YOLO it. Daniel didn't much care for the memoirs of past Daniel because past Daniel was quite the nerd. Good. Another locked door. Just what Daniel had wanted. Ah. Daniel could see that the bookshelf had been moved. Daniel tried to push the bookshelf out of the way, but clearly it did not work. Perhaps moving a book will cause some Dexter's laboratory type mechanism to activate and allow him entrance. The books did not work. He must pull the bookshelf out of the way. But nothing was happening. At last, Daniel had found the Dexter's laboratory type mechanism. He must find all of them and pull them quickly, so that he could escape this room. He filled his lantern because it was annoying. He had to pull all of the books so that the sound would rattle and he could leave. But the third book 
eluded him. He was like, seriously, where is this book? Ah, another bookshelf. Perfect. Daniel knew it must be here somewhere. Because Daniel was clairvoyant, as had already been discussed, he ran quickly, pulled out all the books, and felt like a huge genius. Although he could not still figure out why he couldn't move the bookshelf himself, but he was apparently, in his own words, young and strong. He found the wine cellar key, finally, and heard noises, so he hid inside the cupboard and cried himself to sleep. That is where the story of Daniel, the prince of all Daniels, shall end for today, children.